It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Michelle Waterson and Paige Van Zandt. So here's the mixed martial arts superstar Paige Van Zant. This is a fighter's fighter, DC. She could do any number of things when it comes to her celebrity and her profile. She wants to fight the UFC and she's back tonight. She wants to be inside the octagon because she understands that before the UFC and before all these things, she was a fighter. Yeah. She came here to try and build a career. And by building a career, she built a second career outside of fighting from Dancing with the Stars to the swimsuit edition. All of it, though, is based on her ability to win fights. When you go back and you watch some of her victories, the Alex Chambers victory and the jumping kick against Beck Rollins, you understand the level of martial artist that Paige Van Zandt is. She has missed a lot of time due to injury, missed all of 2017, had an arm injury that kept her out most of 2018, now flying her trade as a flyweight. We'll see how it goes for PVZ here tonight. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meeting, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, 12 gauge Paige Benson. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Karate Hati, Michelle Waterson. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. So here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight. A well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. How do you see it playing out? This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter. She could be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Van Zandt gets caught with that punch. Nice head kick. So again, they will clinch here. Big body kick. 
Well, looks like there could be an opening here for an uppercut, and there it is, and she barges right through it. Nice job by her. And that's usually the case. The moment you give her a chance to land that uppercut, she will take it. Big kick. Watterson gets in the clinch yet again. Straight punch lands. Oh man, head keep playing. Oh! Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, big left! Oh! You can't take too many oh. with the big elbow. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Straight right. Oh, she blocks the punch. So just over 20 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zick. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, that right hand is on point. Straight right hand, but she misses. Oh, nice. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive. And we got a fight on our hands. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar, Todd. Reach back inside and try to find space. Great punch. Big leg kick land. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Outstanding kick there by Van Zandt. All right, so once again, the fighters... Beautiful takedown on Tim Land. Nice takedown, and that takedown was because she had to get that takedown. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finisher. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is from the contest. 
at four minutes, 48 seconds in the very first round. Going to winner by submission, we do an arm bar, the Karate Hockey Michelle Robertson. Well, really nice to see this young woman get a chance to exhale as she celebrates with her coaches. You've won world titles in two divisions, but you're not calling your shot the way she is. She said, I'm going to win this fight by submission, and it goes into the books just that way. That's so much confidence to put yourself out on the limb like that. Nobody is brave enough to say, I'm going to do it here, here, or here.